Okay, so this is an um, introduction on how to read Retina's alphabet that he used in his earlier works. So, I think it was last year, um, I made this layout of all of the different letters that I was able to find through all of Retina's works, which is pretty much all the letters except for J, Q, X, and Z. Um, I watched one of the interviews with the retina uh, that showed uh, one of the paintings and they asked him what it says and he said what it said and I had a realization that uh, I would be able to use that as the base to be able to decipher what the letters meant and um, I went through each letter and uh, from as many of his works that I could find that uses uses the alphabet in an alphabetic way because I think his more recent works <coughs> are more abstract and less like um, just writing but he has a lot of earlier works that in a lot of the murals they use um, the alphabet uh, pretty uniformly in a way that it could actually be read back so these are the letters um, and I'm going to show you a work now um, and show you how these letters are used to make the words. Okay. So here's a piece that's called I Strike With Words That Will Pierce Through Your Heart. And uh, it kind of looks all jumbled together because it is. Uh, letters can be layered on top of each other or put uh, in different places. Uh, but usually with these kind of pieces, the first line is pretty uniform. And then you get to the next line here where the, this is a T and then we'll go to H, A, L, L. And the meaning that will. So T, H, A. So then the T is over here and this is L and L. So that'll. And then it goes back to P, I, E, R, C, Pierce, and I think the E um, is this one, or this could be the E also. Okay, but I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show you uh, broken down. I kind of cut this up into layers, so I'm just gonna do the first uh, four words, which I strike with words. Okay, so let's get rid of the background. So this is just I strike with words. Okay, and we're gonna go backwards and just turn everything off. Okay, so here's the blank canvas. So I, this is an I. You can refer back to this one. This is I. Okay, so then the S. S looks like this, and uh, again, it's the same like I decoded. Okay, so T, T is a pretty clear T, and I is a pretty clear I too. This looks like an I, this is like a T, sometimes the T is doubled, sometimes it's not. Same with the I. R, so this is the R, this is the upper arch of the R, and then the, the leg, and then it happens to go down here because then there's another I right here that kind of fills that space followed by the K and then there's this E so E is in general E and S are pretty big letters and they take up a lot of space um, so the difference S I feel like has this little S Z shape on the top and E has the circle but they're both like a man, figure like a, of a man with arms and legs. So, could be, can mix those up. But this is an E. So this is already two words. I-S-T-R-I-K-E. Okay. This is W. I again. T again. Notice this one is doubled. H looks like an H. Okay, and what you can see, let's just take strike away. So with, with is, usually they're not all in one line like this. One is will be on top of the other or elongated. 
So this is interesting being able to see the width. You could see that it's a W, also just kind of doubled up. It looks like two X's, but if you block off the bottom, then it looks like a W. So here's width. So let's bring strike back. S T R I K E width, and then the W is reused. O R D S, and that's I strike with words. And then the rest of the painting, this is a T, this is a H, A, L, L, T, Pierce. And then as you get lower and lower down, it kind of gets more and more scrambled and harder to figure out what it's saying. Um, okay, thank you very much.